Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've been playing with the micro bit again, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, my project worked, but it has failed because when you share it with somebody, you can't see each other's screen. So, real quickly, let me show you how it works. When you first started, it says tic tac toe. Each one of these micro bits has the on start for the first letter, it has a button A makes an X button B makes an O, and then the first one right here has an on shake that clears everybody else's screens. When you go to the second micro bit, it's got the on start for each letter, and then it's got this on radio received value, where I made the value variable, and if it equals one, which is what gets sent, it clears the screen. And then I had to manually create the button A and the button B for every single one of those. That was really tedious, but you can see it does work. When I click on this first one, or when I click on any of these, I can make X's or O's, depending on which of the little buttons I click. The only problem is you'd have to share the mouse and with our COVID and me wanting to create one that goes across the world and we could play together, it currently does not work that way. When you're ready to clear the board, you simply click on the first one and use the shake command. So if you want to make your own to play at home, let me show you how quickly you can make it. Simply hit create new circuit. As always, let's name it. I'm going to name mine tic-tac-toe and I'm going to put my initials and then bring out two micro bits to start. So I'll show you the two that you have to build. The first one, when we hit code, we're gonna start with the on start, and you're gonna make it look like a T. These are so cool, you can just drag on the boxes to fill them in. And then you need a on button A pressed. And then here's a cool trick. If you right click that and duplicate it, you can switch that one to button B, and then the screen is clear for as you fill these in. Notice I'm just dragging diagonally, and then when I miss, I'm cleaning them up afterwards. I get better at it the more I do it. And then the B, I do a letter O, just like that. All right, friends, so for the first one, we want it to send a message to clear the rest. We're gonna do it on shake. So all we do is bring out an on shake, we go to the output, and we wanna send a message to the rest of them we're gonna send the value one. On shake, not only does it have to send, but I've gotta put in my clear screen. At that point, we can go to the second one. We're gonna do another on start. Remember, we're spelling tic-tac-toe, so this is a letter I. I'm gonna throw away the forever. I'm gonna bring out my button A. I'm gonna put in the show LEDs. I'm going to duplicate it before I fill it in. That way I don't have to clean it. Let's see if I can do one perfect. <laughs> so close. And then the other one I do have to switch to B. Scroll down so I can see better. And then we're going to make this an O again. And then this one we're going to do the receive. I'm going to tell you to start by hit, bringing out a clear screen. We'll use it in a minute. Under input, we need to bring out a radio received. Notice we're putting it below that. Under control, we're gonna bring out an if. We're gonna put the clear screen in, and then we're gonna replace this true block with a math block. Notice it's got the diamond corners, and then we need the variable. Now the variable is called value, so we're gonna drop it in here, and if the value equals one, then it's gonna clear the screen. So you can test your project by hitting start. We can see the T and the I. And when we hit shake, it clears it. If we hit an A, it does an X. If we hit a B, it switches to the O. And that, my friends, is how you build a tic-tac-toe board. This one is a little different because it has the on shake send. The other eight are all the same with a on start and your letter, a button AX, a button B O, and the special radio received commands. 
Friends, I was really pleased that I got it all finished and that I had it working. I was really bummed when I shared it with the first person, and when we hit simulate, we found out we could not see each other's screens. But I did enjoy the techniques, and hopefully someday, there's a way to share it while it's simulating. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.